Hi, Abby Lee Miller here from Dance Moms to do a little Q&A with Miss Eliana. Hi. All right, here we go. What solo of yours from this season did you connect with the most? I would 100% say Castaway because that's really how I felt like when I first got there in season eight because you know like I was the outsider so no one would really yeah, but connect with me. I didn't cast you away. Let's clear that up right now. Yes, you did. I loved you from day one when I had my first little solo private with you <laughs> to fix your dance and it was a half an hour private and five hours later. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I missed a big meeting too. And I definitely wanted you back for season eight. There was no question about it. You were off of the gig. You had other things going on and you came back late. So yeah. you felt like a castaway. And the producers wanted to delve into that feeling but then and also, make it worse. I did not cast you away. But also, another fun fact. We actually, we um, the week before Castaway, we were in St. Croix, which is in the U.S. Virgin Islands, and we actually got stuck on a, like a private island type of thing. So, you know, I can also relate to it in that way. There you we go. were stuck there for five hours because the boat broke down, and it was so hot, and we had no food or water. So oh. we had to like go like this to like a ship where everyone was like drinking wine and beer. We're like, we need water. Did they give you anything? Yeah. Okay. They're like only one. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. You're still here. You survived. Yes. Good. So, do you think you were at a disadvantage coming back to do Dance Moms mid-season during the ALDC's competition season? I feel like yes and no because you know, like the group dances. Luckily, my first week there, I didn't do a group dance. I only did it the second week I was there, and then then on. But you know, the team had been with each other for like. How many weeks? Like six or seven weeks right. before I got there. So they already knew like how to dance with each other. And then I kind of came in and then they were like, oh, like well, we don't really know how she works and stuff. But I mean, I think it did well because like the first group dance I did in season eight, I literally learned it in a, in a day. So I learned it on Friday and then I right. did it on Saturday. Well, yeah, and that was just all craziness. Mm -hmm. But I just don't want to take the blame because I wanted you back. You should have been back. I know it's hard to walk into something that's already going on. However, it may have made you more popular or more mm -hmm. camera time or more whatever because you were coming in late. Yeah. So there was a story there that they kind of went with. Mm -hmm. But also like, I feel like I'm not also at a disadvantage because I've been doing the showman team for a while now. So I kind of know how it works and like what I need to do. So that also helped a lot. How do you think your mother helped you get back in your groove and do you think you dance better under her crazy pressure? Okay. Okay. <laughs> We're not in the valley. Okay. We're on the west side here. You got it? A little different. Well, I don't think I do necessarily better when I'm under my mom's pressure. I feel like I do better when I'm under my own pressure. Like, so I literally, like, no offense, mom, but I just, like, kind of forget you're even there when I'm, like, on stage. Like, it do, I don't do it for my mom. I kind of, like, just do it for, like, myself and, like, partially you. Yeah. And you're in the audience Thank and you're, you. like, videoing, you're, like. Is that another play? Yeah. <laughs> and then, and then we, I always wait, like, I, when I'm doing my ending pose, and you wait a couple seconds and then you're, like, you know, you turn it off, you're, like. Well, I don't use the tape, but Gianna takes them all and then. I never got them and I never got to see them, so I started to tape so I could use it on social media and my YouTube channel. I have a new thing coming up, you'll see it's hilarious. <laughs> All right, were you genuinely nervous now that Sarah might have taken your spot in your duet with Giannina and how did you push through? What, Honestly, what, I, was, crazy. I didn't really even know that was all going on. I was like, okay, oh, no, I know. actually, I was nervous because, you know, she had more rehearsal time than I did. So then, you know, she had like the character down better. So it was like, kind of like. But do you think I would have done that? Yeah. Do that and stuck to it? No. But I mean, I felt like I should have been the one that had the two because, it, you know, it was my duet. And also it was choreographed for me. And then also I love Sarah. She's such a nice kid. But then when I found out some of those things, she but I it's still love Sarah. Dog eat dog world out there, kid. Mm -hmm. That's what an understudy is called. How do you stay motivated 
to get your schoolwork done, knowing that you had to if you wanted to come back to the ALDC. Okay, so being back on Dance Moms did definitely motivate me to get my schoolwork done because I knew I would not be able to do the show if I didn't know my schoolwork done, so I had to do a lot of it. I had to do tests, and I think I had to do like 10 assignments in each thing to see like if I was like good or not, but. We got it worked out. Let's just say we got it worked out. And I don't think you, I don't think Eliana needs any motivation to do what she knows she has to do. It's just part of life and you have to get it done. Just like in ballet class, you have to go to the bar and you have to do a plie and a tondu, even though you want to work on 10 pirouettes, it doesn't start like that. You have to do diligence, you have to put the work in and there's a system in progress and it, legally in the state of Pennsylvania, you had to have certain school work yeah. done in order to Well, because work. in California, it's so easy to get like a work permit, but then for some reason in the state of Pennsylvania, it literally took two weeks. Do you think you coming in mid-season made the rest of the ARDC kids step it up? Like, do you think you challenged them or motivated them? Okay, I feel like in a way I did. I don't really know. I feel like everyone, like like you said, they started, you know, like do better. Once well, I, I think better. anytime a stranger, not that you're a stranger, but that somebody new walks into a group, there's a little bit of animosity. There's a little bit of like who she thinks she is, that kind of thing. But you also make them re-examine themselves and they know they need to step it up because uh-oh, she just brought somebody new in. I could be replaced because you know how the saying goes, everyone's replaceable. That's right, you got it. You're hanging me here. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Thank you, Abby. Thank you, Eliana. For Eliana. giving me questions. But make sure to go follow my TikTok, at Eliana Walmsley. Well, I can tick and I can talk. I think I do have a TikTok somewhere. I just don't know the passwords or anything. I'm really not technical. Techie, not a techie girl. I didn't stick the penny in the light socket to just see what happened. I never did that. Well, you need to figure it out. I do need to figure it out because you know I can pick it up and talk. I have that. Like now. a clock. Well, like a clock, but also I love all those little routines and they're so bad. Some of the people are so bad and they can't dance that I can really help them, I think. <laughs> you I can, think like, I can teach you can TikTok like duet lessons. them. You can duet it. Then me and like them and then, the dance. And then me in the corner? Yes, doing it, it like the right way? It would be hilarious. So we gotta get on that. Is that yeah. a deal? Yes. Alright, good girl.